How's it going, gents and ladies? I am Cedric, and I know classic men's style. That was probably some of the worst acting you've seen. Anyway, I'm Cedric, I like classic man's style, and I have another bad hair day. And what do you do when you have a bad hair day? You put something on your head to cover it. That is why today I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video on, um... That's why today I thought it would be a good idea to do a video on... Hats. I'll be talking about five different types of hats to cover that lousy little haircut. And right now I am wearing one of them. This is a newsboy or newspaper boy cap. This is the kind of cap you will see often in Peaky Blinders. A newspaper boy cap is what you would call a flat cap, which means that the fabric that covers your head goes all the way to the peak at the front. Not all flat caps are newspaper boy caps. There are other forms of flat caps. These, Cedric, do some magic, add some pictures of caps, are also flat caps. The difference between these flat caps and this flat cap is that these flat caps are um, slimmer in the sides, more sporty. The one I'm wearing is a little more old-fashioned, less sporty. Cedric, what is the biggest difference between those two? Ah, good question, inquisitive watcher. Wow, that's different. Sake. Newspaper boy caps are caps that have a little button in the middle and are made up of different panels that all come together uh, and are united by the button. Other flat caps can be made of one piece of fabric that goes all the way to the front. So those are caps. But you clicked on this video for hats, right? Are caps hats? Well, they are, but they also aren't. You might have expected me to start by talking about the brimmed kind. So, let me do that for you. The brimmed hat. This is what you probably clicked on this video for. Do you like the one I'm wearing? Had I known more about hats when I bought it, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But now this is the one hat I have, so I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with it. I need to talk about some vocabulary. I can already hear you screaming. Don't worry, it's only two words and they're, they're pretty obvious. The first word is the brim. The brim is the flat part of the hat. The second part is the crown, which is the part that goes up. So brim, flat, crown, up. There we go! End of vocabulary lesson. <laughs> now we can start talking about the different kinds of hats. There are really three kinds of hats that are mostly worn. Let's start talking about the fedora. Ah, the fedora. Made popular by the fedora boy. The fedora nowadays has sort of a bad reputation with the fedora boy who thinks they look cool but they really look a little ridiculous. Well, I have some news for you actually. The fedora boy does not wear a fedora. That's right, I tricked you. The fedora boy actually wears a trilby. What is the difference between a fedora and a trilby? A trilby is mostly sold rather cheaply. They have high crowns, short brims, and they're generally speaking pretty cheap. Now Frank Sinatra, he can really pull fedoras off because he is very skinny and he's pretty short. The higher crown and the shorter brim fits within his frame. It makes sense. It's proportional. The other person who wears trilbies a lot, Dom Draper, from the show Mad Men, he doesn't really pull them off as well. He's a tall guy, he's fairly built. The thinner brim of the hat, it looks a little disproportionate, it looks a little cartoonish, almost. You can wear trilbies, obviously. You can wear whatever you want to, but make sure that it's not one of those really cheap ones, and that it looks proportionate. That's the most important thing. We've had the trilby, which everyone calls a fedora, but then what is a fedora? What is a fedora? Tell me! A fedora 
is a felt hat with less of a high brim. It's a reshapable brim. Brim. Flat crown. Which means you can have fedoras with many different shapes at the top. Now the brim of a fedora tends to be wider. You can also often snap down the front of the brim and snap up the back. I think the fedora looks much nicer than the trilby. It looks much more proportionate. People you can see wearing a fedora are people like Indiana Jones, Humphrey Bogart. Cool guys, generally speaking. My advice when it comes to these two hats would be don't wear them too often. Wearing a hat nowadays in the 21st century will make you stand out. You're not going to be the well-dressed guy anymore, you're gonna be the guy who wears the hat all the time. So in my opinion, wear the hat as an accessory. Wear the hat to complete a look, but don't wear the hat in every single look. But there is a third kind of hat. A kind of hat that I haven't talked about, and a kind of hat that in my opinion you can wear pretty much every day during the summer because this is a summer hat and that is you probably guessed it already when I said a summer hat the Panama hat now a Panama hat is a paper hat it is made for the summer it is airy it is light and it can come in many different shapes and sizes I would advise you to go for more of a wider brim to go for more of a fedora style rather than a trilby style especially because during the summer it makes sense to have a wider brim to keep the shade on your face. So now I've already given you one piece of advice about hats. I'm going to end with one more piece of advice. And that is actually a piece of advice that I learned from a song from Robin and the Seven Hoods. I mentioned it in my videos about rules to follow and rules not to follow. That piece of advice when it comes to hats is given by Dean Martin who says, a hat's not a hat till it's tilted. When I got this hat, I realized I hated it when I put it on straight. I thought it looked ridiculous, but then I turned it to the side in a bit more of an Al Capone gangster kind of way, and I liked it. Hats look better when they are a little tilted. Right, that was it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, <laughs> hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, any questions, comments or suggestions, you can leave them down in the comments section. That was it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later. I think the fedora can look much nicer. Uh, I think the fedora looks much nicer than the trilby. I think the fedora looks much nicer than the... the uh, I think the fedora looks much nicer than the... I think the fedora looks much nicer than the trilby. I, my tongue is way too big for my mouth.